Oxygen cylinders are metal tanks that store compressed oxygen. You can use these tanks at home or on the go. The tanks come in a variety of sizes. The smaller the tank, the less oxygen it holds. Your healthcare provider will recommend the right size tank for you, based on how much extra oxygen your body needs. If you use a home concentrator, your supplier might also provide you with a large backup metal tank that can last 24 hours should the power go out. Your tank will have an oxygen regulator that shows you how much oxygen is left in your tank. Keep your eye on the regulator so you know when you're close to running out of oxygen. Some people will use a conserver device, which delivers oxygen in pulses or bursts when you inhale. This type of device helps you use less oxygen, but it is not right for everyone. Ask your doctor if using a pulse flow is right for you. When your oxygen is delivered by the company, the supplier will show you how to begin the flow of oxygen and also turn it off. To get started at home with a metal tank, attach the regulator or conserver if you use one. Then, attach your nasal cannula or face mask and turn on the oxygen to the prescribed flow rate. Remember, if you're using a conserver, you won't feel oxygen flow out of the nasal cannula until it is connected and you take a breath. You can be mobile while using your metal oxygen tanks. Tanks can be wheeled around in tank carriers for patients that need high flow rates. And smaller tanks can be carried in bags with over-the-shoulder straps. Single tanks, not in carriers or in use, should be kept lying flat, so they do not fall over. Your oxygen delivery company will drop off new tanks when it's time for a refill. Some people use a special device called a home fill system that allows them to refill their own tanks. Ask your doctor if this is right for you. Remember to care for your system by washing your nasal cannula or face mask weekly with mild dish soap and warm water and let air dry. Clean them more frequently if you're sick. Be sure not to get water in the tubing and replace it if it is damaged. You can get replacement tubing from your oxygen supplier. It might be daunting at first to get started with a new oxygen device, but with practice, you'll gain confidence and adjust to life with oxygen therapy. For more information, visit lung.org oxygen.